Start recording. And okay, uh, uh, Rhino, you want to do an intro real quick? Yeah. Welcome, Mage. I'm Rhino, and today we're going to be doing something different. We're going to be doing, uh, I will tell you in just a second. <laughs> <laughs> right. Hello, everyone. Um, we're all, I'm doing something different with Rhino as well, uh, which is very exciting. Rhino, do you want to tell them what we're doing? Yes, we are going to be um, playing a pre-release battle, and we have no idea what these decks could do. I, I've only seen what this deck could do, and and I've only got a quick look through of my deck. And you have no, not I seen have. the build video no. for Rhino's deck, correct? Mm-hmm. I don't think Rhino, you've seen Dana, so it's a uh, no. Trying to preserve that pre-release experience. Yes. So, I'll. Uh, Let's go and jump right in. Oops, wrong. All right. We rolled. Rhino's going and, first. And real quick, this is, of course, Adam, Dana's dad. Um, and indicate in chat or whatever if there's any issue with the audio or video or anything else. It's a little bit of a new setup we're trying here, but hopefully it works well. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, this will be three battles. It doesn't matter how many each one wins. We're going to do three battles. Uh, no sideboard changes. Uh, that way we can get a chance to get through all the cards, pretty much, we think. Uh, see how well the, these decks work. Yes. So uh, they already resolved uh, who goes first. Rhino will be going first, and they've resolved mulligans. So we will go ahead and get started. Okay. I'll play a mountain. Go ahead. I will draw... I will play a mountain. I will tap for one and play a goblin arsonist. Alrighty. Yeah, go ahead. Draw. Play a forest. And. Uh, yeah. you. Thank you. Ingenious Kerr. And I can do two. Uh, uh, it gets plus two, plus zero until end of turn. Go ahead. It does not. It doesn't. It doesn't like the sleeves. <laughs> it doesn't like the sleeves. No, no, it doesn't. Well, we'll we'll do our best here. All right, my turn. Uh, yep, it's your turn. All right, I will draw, play a land, and attack for one. I will block. All right, my thing will die, and it will deal one damage to your igneous curve. Pass turn. Draw. Play a forest and I'm gonna do three and play land or visionary. <gasps> <laughs> I love that card. <laughs> he has one. You wanna counter it? <laughs> I don't have any blue and I never like counter spells, so you know I try to stay away from the counter spells and I won't card. ever count. And um, pass turn. All right, draw, land for turn, and I will play a trouble snout. I will give it a plus one, plus one counter. Pass turn. All righty. Draw, play a mountain, and... 
and I'm going to... going to tap five and play Garrick Scorehorn. Vanilla seven three. Go ahead. Ooh. Um I will tap three mana. And I will play a Garrix Harbinger. It is a 3 mana 4 3 Hexproof from Black. When it deals combat damage to a player of Planeswalker, look at that many cards from the top of your library. You may reveal a creature card or a Garrick card from among them and put it into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Okay. All right, I will pass the turn. Draw. Going to play a mountain and I'm going to Do three and play. How does that work there? Hunter's Edge. Yep. Put a woman counter on him and get rid of I uh, Garrick's whatever. Carbinger. Yep. And uh the. I'm gonna go into combat. Mm hmm. Swing. I will take it. Yep. Uh, second main. Oh man, I don't have mana. Go ahead. Oh. That line of vision, right? Which is why I am flying like <laughs> this. Ah. Uh. Your hand can be done by your previous card. Yes. Well, technically, it's a Garrix, whatever. A uh, Pride Malkin. Um, I will put a counter oh, on man. the Truffle Snout, so it can block. And I will pass the turn. Alrighty. Welcome everyone, by the way, for those just joining, Dana Welcome. and Rhino here are building out their paper pre-release decks. It's game one. Yes, this is game one. We are doing a pre-release battle, and I don't know what this deck could do. <laughs> by the way, put it in the, uh, in the, in the chat on uh, Dana's channel, the links to the build videos, by the way, for both Rhino's build and, uh, and Dana's build. Gonna play a map. You can check those out later on YouTube if you'd like. Actually, no, I think I might want to. Okay, this. spell table is now following you, Rhino. What? <laughs> <laughs> spell table. Okay. Yay. Wow. Thank you, spell table. I'm gonna do two. Yeah, we we like spell table. This is a pretty uh, yeah, it is cool, cool tool here. Mm -hmm. Three. Gonna play ingenious cur. Ingenious. Okay, you only tap two, right? Yeah. Yeah, All I right. tap two. All right. And I. So taking a look at. She's got the truffle snout. That's pretty big. 
and uh, that. Yeah. I am going to say pass. Alright, I'm going to untap, draw, play a land, tap four mana. I'm going to cast a Hunter's Edge, put a counter on my Truffle Snout, and deal damage to your Yerix 8 4 thingy. 8 4 thingy. Okay. <laughs> the big guy. The, the big, big guy. guy. Yes. Then I'm going to move to combat, and I'm going to attack for five. For five? I'll mm -hmm. block with Ingenious Cur, and then I'm going to... Before damage, going mm -hmm. to pump and pump. So it's a five. So how big it will it be? Five two. Okay, now they will trade, and you will take three. Because my th has trampled thanks to Fred Malkin. Yep. And after that, I will pass the turn. Alrighty. This is truly cruel decks do, 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 do best, huh? Yeah, they do. Yeah. Smashing into each other? Okay. He has a lot more visionary decks. I want a lot more visionary mm. I'll play a mountain. He also has a lot more land than me. He does have more land. Okay. I'm going to do, uh, and that's, one, two, three, four, yes, you need six, mm -hmm. there, okay. Bone Pit Brute. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm assuming you're giving the plus four, plus zero. Oh, uh, another big guy. Yeah. yeah. So it's uh, four or five with Menace. And this is a six, two. Yep. And... I will swing six. I'm gonna block with my two one. And they'll trade. Yep. Yep. Smashy smashy. <laughs> Go ahead. Alright. <laughs> it's interesting Draw. that it's gruel versus gruel. Who can pound the biggest? <laughs> I'm going to cast Kinetic Augur. I am going to discard a Volcanic Geyser and a Fierce Empath to draw two cards. One, two. I will play a land for turn. And I will pass with a 2 4. And then maybe we'll note how big it is since it's, it's a little hard four. to see here. Um, here, I could just put a 2 like that. There you go. Okay. Draw. Okay. I'm going to do 1 2. Three, four, play Garrick Unleashed. Oh. <laughs> Get your counter. Right now, you should see Dana's face. I She's very jealous right now. And it's a uh, showcase. It's I think that's uh, showcase Garrick. In a part, in a oh look! Dress, I'm wearing the Garrick. I'm wearing the Garrick shirt too. 
Derek. We should instead of him? I'm gonna go. Oh. And actually, when I was doing like a practice pre release kit, I had a borderless Liliana that I opened. Oh, cool. Wow. Okay, so you're plussing him up. And he will become a 7 8 with menace. And trample. And trample. Swing. Is how big was trample? Seven. Seven eight. Seven eight. Yep. I'm gonna block four of it. Take three. You can't. It has menace. Oh, then I'll take seven. <laughs> oh. <laughs> My turn. Good, good choice. Yes, it's your turn. Untap. Five mana, I will turn your bone pit giant into slag. Into what? Slag. I'm casting turn to slag. And so what does it do, Dana? Tell deal five damage to a target creature. Okay. Okay. This thing will get bigger, and I will um, attack Garrick for three. What are you like, Garrick? Oh. Not when he's on the other side. Oh, that's not okay? No, it's not, Daddy. Oh, okay. You should know that. <laughs> me. Uh, before attacks... Uh, before... Uh, before uh, come uh, Before I... Uh, I... Uh, before attacks... Oh, no, not before attacks. Before it got pumped. Before it got pumped, I'm gonna... Scorching dragon fire and kill it. Uh, scor it has four toughness. Uh, four toughness. It it always has four toughness. Oh. Okay. Oh. And its power is just what gets pumped. Okay. So. Yeah. It's it's hard to see over the webcams. Yes. Yes. Okay. Well. And how much damage is uh, Garrick taking? Three. Three? Go down to two. Then I will pass the how turn. How dare you attack Garrick? Do you like Garrick? Not when he's on the other side of the battlefield, mm. Paddy. Mm. Okay, <laughs> you say so. Okay. I'm going to play Perculia. Porticullus. Por Porticullus, fine. Okay. I'm not. Yep. I'm just organizing. Okay. And also, I can't. I have summoning sickness. Okay. And I'm gonna now. buff up <laughs> Garrick. And up to one. I guess onto Porculius finds. Porticullus. Porticullus. Ah. Porticulius, yes. Porticulius. Rhino, don't worry. I, I, I'm Porticulus. always kind of, uh, well, not always. Occasionally I will correct Dana. She gives me grief as well. And it's your turn. Yes, I love when my dad corrects me. I find an even better opportunity. To just say it wrong on purpose. Oh. Then. Such a cooperative. Yeah, time. it's your turn. Yes, I know. All right, I will untap. Draw. Play a land for turn. Mm. Hmm. I will tap four mana. Play an ordinary Dilophosaur. Oh, that card's oh. awesome. Yep. And then I will pass the turn. Er, hold on. I will attack. Attack, actually. 
Okay. Um. Okay. Back and forth. Yeah, I'm gonna block it and sack it for the draw card. Does it? It does not have something. Sickness. It didn't just come out? It came out on his turn. It came out on his turn. Right. So it doesn't have summoning sickness now then? Oh yeah, it still has summoning sickness. Yeah, I'm gonna still block it. Alright. Protect Garrick! <sighs> yep. Alright, I'm gonna pass the turn after that. Okay. Port call swines. <laughs> I'm gonna minus them to make a beast. Uh, I don't know if we've got a beast token. Let's see. It's a three-three beast. Hey, do you have the beast tokens? Uh, yeah. <laughs> beast token. So, oh, what? I get to put another loyalty counter because yes, that's nice. It's one of those things that oh yeah, because you have more creatures. Oh, wait, no, I don't because he gets the beast, so he has two. Oh, you're right. Two. You're right. He doesn't get an extra loyalty counter because you it counts the beast. It, you create the beast. And then it sees, and we have the same amount of creatures. Uh, okay, I am not seeing. Oh, oh. Okay. Although, since this is a little tricky setup, and we're just kind of doing it for fun, right? We could do it a little differently. Oh, uh, I well, guess I uh, just. Oh, you're gonna be a stickler. Not that much of a stickler. <laughs> I I could let him do take backsies a little bit. But I'm not gonna just let him put a free loyalty counter on Garrett. Okay. No, I'm saying you could have sequenced it before. Well, uh, I'm not alright, we'll just put a three on that and we'll just do that. Okay. That that represents the beast? Yeah. Cool. All right. And it is your turn. All right. Untap. Untap. You draw. All right, I'm going to move to combat and attack Yerk uh, with both my creatures. You really don't like Yerk. <laughs> <laughs> it also is very bad for you, so. Uh, how big is that sucker? That is, uh, uh, two, two. Two, two. I, it, 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 uh, doesn't get pumped, right? No, because I don't have a creature with power for a green deck. Thought so. Uh, no need to. Really going after Derek? It would also be very bad trades for him. I think I might want to mm. 
I think I might want to block. I. Uh, The three three with the portcullis lines. The three four. The three four. The three four. So yeah, it's a three four and a two two. And I'll block the two two with the beast. And two two with actually I'll just keep the beast. Well if you keep the beast then Garrick's gonna Go bye bye. Yeah, I'll block. Okay. All right. So the two two and the beast are gonna trade because the two two has death touch. Yes, I I've played that in the previous. And then your port vine is going to die. Yeah. And then I'm going to tap four mana and cast a saber tooth mauler. I will move to my end step since oh, a yeah. creature died this turn. Um, it will get a plus one, plus one counter. Pass turn. And draw. Okay. You're still alive, you know. Yes, <laughs> I know. Derek can't do anything at the moment. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do. I, I don't think you can plus. Yes, I can. Okay. Up well, you can the... still plus him and not target anything. Yeah, it says up to one. Okay. Yep. Although you could target one of my creatures. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, I could, but. Eh. Like my cat creature, because that wouldn't matter. <laughs> What if you have like a fling or something like that? Hmm? You're trying to trick him? It's not in the set, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, maybe. Play Furious Rise. Yep. Um. Oh, okay. I I didn't know what this card did, so <laughs> I had to read it. Um go ahead. Alright. I will untap draw. Um, I will tap two to cast Scorching Dragon Fire on your Garak. Yep, he did. Oh, he's um, that and then my kinetic um uh, auger will get one bigger, and I will attack you for eight. Eight. Go down to nine. Also, the yeah, um, then I will tap three and play a trouble snout. I will give it a plus one plus one counter. Okay, pass turn. That was not nice to kill Garrick. Squirt oh. fire was the top deck. Andrea is here. Yaji, hello. Thank you, Andrea. Waiting hello. for the party of seven. Thank you for the raid. Yes, thank you. For those of you that don't know, we're doing a paper pre-release battle. Yes. Um, Dana and uh, Rhino each built decks out of a pre-release kit. You can find them on their YouTube channels. I uh, put them up in, in chat. I'll try to put them again. Um, and then uh, they haven't seen the videos, and they're playing three games. Three games, yep. no sideboarding. Even if one person wins the first two, we'll just still play out the three games so we can see how these decks work. Yep. Yeah. And Dana was uh, very mean to a Garrick that Rhino played, even though he should be liking Garrick, but... It's on the other side of the oh, battlefield. Fair, fair, fair. Daddy, <laughs> Go I ahead. Do this <laughs> Andrea says, I was playing totally accurate battle simulator today. It was pretty fun. 
And he says, Dana, don't kill the green stuff, please. I don't do kill it, I the gotta green do stuff. Win. And to stay alive, because I was at five. Yeah, he's sticking up for you, Rhino. He's saying, don't, don't, don't kill your green stuff. I'm at five. I have to try and stay twice. Yes. It's your turn. Okay, your turn, Dana. Okay. Untap. Draw. Move to combat. Four, um, eight, eleven. You win. All right, game two. All right, on to game two. There were a lot of big creatures there. There really were. Yeah, Ryan, were you getting uh, a bit flooded there? <laughs> A bit flooded. Yeah, mana flooded. Ah, uh, no. Yeah, you did. <laughs> you drew a land. I did not draw that many lands. I got um a little bit mana screwed. But then you had gas after that. So that was pretty cool. Definitely. So on to game two. Yeah. Yeah. You you face down a Eric, a showcase Eric, no less. That I wish was on my side of the battlefield. Same with the Lana War Visionary. <laughs> it's my Lana War Visionary. Yeah, I think they were. Hey, Ryan, you opened the cards. Dana won. Oh, were they? Yes. Oh my God. What about the foil Lana War Visionary? Lana War Visionary Ooh. and showcase Eric. Are the card wheels? You run around the room doing cartwheels? You think that was what Rhino did? Nope. Rhino, did you run around the room doing cartwheels like Dana said she'd do? Me? I'm yes. not sure. <laughs> <laughs> run around the house. I live in an RV, so that's a little tough. <laughs> well, you just said you'd run around the room, right? Yeah. Although this. Yeah, my room exactly is my bunk. <laughs> And I would hit my green screen on a weightlifting thing, so I'd probably go downstairs. Yeah, there's there's not that much room here. But downstairs or in the hallway, there's quite a bit of room. And I do cartwheels, some back walkovers. Oh, Little Lion. Remember her? Oh, yes. Hi, Little Lion. Thank you for joining. She said uh, she got a Lenore Visionary in her pre release. Mm. She's very excited. Oh, Andrea asked if you might do a double backflip. I can't do a flip. I can do some of the some uh, pretty cool tricks. Backflips, no, not yet. But I do take some gymnastic classes. I'm not taking one this year because you can't do the hard stuff without a spot. Otherwise, you'll get really hurt, and you can't get a spot from a dear parent because you can get really hurt if you're not spotted right. Uh, so it's. So there's not much to do online, but uh, I've been practicing with my uh, sister. To, um, what I'm working on right now is a front walkover. Oh. So. Someday, Dana, you know, when this is all over, we can go yeah, back. Yeah, but we things. don't even do flips in my uh, beginner class. You can look up to them. Okay. Right? Mm-hmm. Okay, there we go. Well, while you're getting ready, Danny, you want to tell me what camps you're uh, in this week? Uh, yes, I am actually uh, taking a slime camp. It also helps annoy my dad, which is good, because um, my dad does not like touching slime, so we'd like take our slime and touch it to my dad, which is fun. And, and I'm also doing a comic book making class. I've got page one and two done, and I'm almost done with page three. And Andreas says, I'll wait for at least a single backflip for your GP top eight in 2021. <laughs> well, we look forward to there being GPs in 2021, yeah. so hopefully that'll happen and before too late in the year. And I'm also going to keep this hand. Yeah. Well, I... All right. 
Let's go first, cause uh, try you know. it. It's a stretch. Mm. Andrea says, "I look forward to GPS whenever they come." Yes, me too. Uh, agreed. I wish there's a GP Minneapolis. Okay. All right. And I'll, I'll go first. Yep. We ready? Um. Yep. Yeah, ready. Yes, please. Okay. okay. I'm ready. Right here. Oh. Play Forest Trumpet and play Porticolis Vines. Yes. yes. I got it. Woohoo! Nice. My turn? Yes. All right. Draw? Andreas says, last year at GP Minneapolis was quite fun. It was modern. Ah. Yeah, I didn't go last year. No. The year before was? No, it was 2017. 2017. Yeah. And that's when I did my first commentary. That's true. We're rich. Play Mountain Tap Goblin Ar Arsonist. Very similar start, huh? Yeah. All right, faster. Except his can block yours. Draw. Play Part a time. mountain. Tap two. Ingenious Kerr. My first modern GP was in Minneapolis, I think 2014. And pass turn. I was bare. I couldn't read then. No. So I much. actually had just started, I, I fairly was playing magic then. Do you remember though who you met in Minneapolis for the first time? You April up, King. Yeah, April King ended up having good friends with. Land for turn, pass. Joe? You're going to hang out with her and Play a Maria and Forrest. And yeah, um, me and April did. And... That was in Chalice. Oh, yes, yes. That's what you did most recently with her. You taught her how to floss. But in the Minneapolis, we did... I forgot what I'm going to play called, Truffles we now. Were, like, okay. Ah, Truffles! Do you want to do a 1-1 one, one oh, counter four. or game four. Four, yeah. That's what you did with April. I'll yeah. give it a 1-1 one, one counter. All right. And you're go. All right. Draw, land for a turn. Um, I will tap three mana um, and play a cultivate. Ooh, I will search for cultivate. And the other will go into my hand. Daddy shuffle, and I will pass the turn. Uh, Daddy shuffle, please. Be fine, please. Uh. <laughs> and draw. All right, pass turn. Okay. I will play a mountain. And um combat. I'm going to yep. swing for three. I am going to take three. Alrighty. Second main, Solemn Simulacrum. Yep. Ooh. Really nice curve for him. I'm going to get me a... Yeah, that's, that, that is quite the curve, right now. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Forced. <clears throat> and it's your turn. All right, untap, draw, land for turn. Yep. Oh, Ryan MTG says flossing is good for your teeth. It's not that. Yes, but it wasn't that kind of flossing. Oh, it was the dance flossing, right? Yeah. And Ryan okay. TV also says everybody ramping. Yep, agreed. Yep, and I will tap five mana and play a brash taunter. Sorry, Ryan, for not oh, seeing your uh, comments earlier. It's uh, falling down on the job. 
Not photo brush taunter. Pre release promo brush taunter. Yeah, that's true. That was your pre release card in the kit, yeah, right? It was. Pass turn. Okay. Okay. Card reader doesn't like that. Okay. What, Brash Taunter? Yeah. <laughs> uh oh. It's probably. Do you want to read what it. Uh... Oh, yeah. It's five mana, one one indestructible. When it is dealt damage, it deals that much damage to target opponent. Uh, two in a red tap, it fights another target creature. Okay. Uh, how big is it? It's a one one. Oh, it's a one one. One one indestructible. Okay. Um. And uh, Ryan MTG says Rhino is a nice playmat. <laughs> yeah, that's a cool. Thank you. Set. Andrea says Dad needs to be on top of chat. You're right, Andrea. I'm 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 falling down on the job here. It's uh, I'm being distracted by all the spell table and all those sorts of controls as well here. So obviously, I, I need to get with the program. Of course you do, Daddy. <laughs> oh, really? Should I make you control it all? Um, how well, you can't, can't really do the chat. But apart from that. I can't read that. I'm well, going you, to... you shouldn't. <laughs> well, kind of happening. Okay, I'm gonna do Chandra Heart of Fire. Two planeswalkers! Chandra's <laughs> <laughs> the best planeswalker. Other part from Ugin. Oh, there we go. I am going wow. to plus. Which plus? I'm gonna um, the shock one. Okay. Yeah, Chandra has two pluses, and that's not it. Hang on. There we go. Yeah. So uh, she's got one where you can exile. Oh, you can dump your hand and exile cards and cast them, which doesn't make sense at the moment. Yeah. And then uh, uh, one that is a basically Ryan, a shock. Derek and Chandra really liking Rhino's pool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I think you can... What's this? I'm going to deal two damage to the Goblin Arsonist. Okay, when it dies, I'm going to deal one damage to your Chandra. Okay. I'm going after the Chandra. She's not green. <laughs> She's not green. Yeah, right, and I put up there in the, in the chat, too, uh, you can see the Rhino's deck build video, which I saw beforehand, but Dana didn't. So I knew about the two planeswalkers. <laughs> and I was just waiting for you to see them. This will be a long game. <laughs> <laughs> I can just tell. It's gonna be a long game. Yeah. Oh, fast, Dana. Oh, he did. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. The rash taunter slows things down. It really does. Rash taunter. Uh, you know, rash taunter slows things down because whenever All right. dealt damage. Three mana. I'm gonna play a Gex Harbinger. Oh. Um, and then another three mana, I am going to cast a Fierce Empath. I'm going to search. One, one, one. My library. And I will get a Colossal Dread Maw. Ooh. <laughs> no, it wasn't actually. I put it there. Oh, you put it there. Oh, I see. You were just putting it there. As, an, as a good option. Or something. Great. And a beanie option. Colossal yep. Dread Maw. All right. Pass turn. And tap. Toy of Shock, but away from that. And draw. Oh, okay. Okay. 
And I'm gonna get me a sky scanner. Yep. I draw a card. And play a land for turn. And I'm gonna plus her up and do the shock. On um, what? Uh, I'm gonna get rid of. Oh, hang on a second. How big is it? Yeah, it's one more. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna get rid of the fierce empath. <laughs> Killed your elf. He's a fiery elf. <laughs> 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 And I will pass. All right. All right. Um, I will play a land for turn and pay six mana to play a, a colossal dread maw. And I will pass the turn. Okay. On turn. Check out a cool also dread. Like Thomas. Draw. Really? And... We have a friend Thomas who a nickname on this Discord. It's Cool Also Dread Mod, right? Yep. Yeah. yeah. You want to do attacks first? The Colossal Dread Mod. Combat. But last sunglasses. Yeah. I'm gonna swing with that and the sky scanner, and that's All it. All right. I am going to block the Sullen Sentinel Akron with the Brash Taunter, dealing two damage to you when damage happens. Dealing two damage to me? Yes. Um, since it gets dealt to... No, you saw him when your lack room lives. Oh. But my brash counter uh, gets dealt two damage, so it deal, just deals two damage to you. And then you'll take one, I think? Yes, because it has nice one. Game. Now you know how that works. <laughs> And going to do one, two, three, four, play Goblin Wizardry, get two goblins yep. with prowess, with prowess, Goblin Wizards. I don't know if Little Lion's still in the uh, in the chat, but she'd be proud, huh? Yeah. yeah. All the goblins. Mhm. Mm Both sides playing some goblins. I haven't activated her. Have I? Uh, yeah. You got rid of. Didn't you get rid my of... little? Elf you got rid of the elf. No, no, that was... no. I did that, that last, last turn. turn. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah, I think it, I, I don't think you have. No, I haven't. Um, I'm going to deal two damage to you, Dana. Are you sure you didn't want to deal it to the Brash Hunter? <laughs> I can't. It has indestructible. <laughs> Yeah, I will take two. You could do do damage to it, just wouldn't do much. No, she would be doing two damage to him. Well, yes, wouldn't do much to you. I'm just throwing stuff up. Okay. Go ahead. How much is Chandra's ult? Uh, it's a nine. Oh, it's a, it's a nine, yeah. Ah. It's a long ways. <laughs> Okay. I will draw 
Tap two mana. Play a Scorching Dragon Fire on your um, Truffle Snout. Okay. And then I will tap four mana um, to do a Hunter's Edge. Um, Garrick Harbinger uh, deals five damage to your Igneous Cur. Five or four? Five damage to... Uh, five. It's a four three. Yep. With a counter. Um, Wait. And this... Yes. Igneous okay. Cur. Okay. And then I'm going to move to combat. Um... The Colossal Dreadmaw and the Garrix Harbringer is going to go at Chandra. Again, attacking the Planeswalker. It's not so you can't blame me for it. Mm, fair. Um, oh, we have up to 10 viewers, Dana. Oh, thank you, everybody. Welcome, everybody. We're in game two Welcome. here. Game I'm two of three of the going uh, to paper pre-release battle. Join us. The Colossal Dreadmaw. Trample. Yeah, no. Oh, actually. I need to run. Okay. Uh, it says good luck, Dana. Thank you. And thanks for the follow. Yeah, how how big is the one with the counter uh, on? I'm sure I'm saying good luck to you too, right? I think it's a five. We're all friends how here, big right? is the yeah, one with the counter? All right. And then no, no, how big is the one with the counter, right? Oh, of a 5-4. Five, 5-4. Four. Five, four. Also, Rekwazi, if you're in the uh, in the chat, thank you for the follow for the channel. I'm good. Yeah. Andrea says, I'm gonna Titans fan says, you. Titans fan says, good luck, Rhino. Rhino, we actually played in person one time. Oh. Yeah. Uh, which one? Rhino's already gotten all yeah, the luck. Right. Hashtag blockers. Yeah, I'm gonna mm, block the five oh, four with Portico's Vine and kill him off and draw a card. Yep. And Chandra will take six. And I will pass the turn. Okay. Lives. Really. Okay. Uh, let's see. There's a lot of them. You do have information. Uh, just subscribed uh, or just followed and said, this is surprisingly professional. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. We put, thank you. We put a lot of work into trying to get this so it would work right. Uh, I'm going to But there is not. And thanks, fans. Good luck with the stream. Hope you both have fun. We will. I'm going to deal fun, two fun. damage to you, Dana. Alright. Me too. Ryan, are you having fun? Yeah. You having fun, bud? Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Yeah, I'm having fun. So, two damage to Dana. Two damage to Dana. Take two. And... Gonna do one... Two... Three... Four... Five... And six. Uh-oh. I'm gonna do Warden of the Woods. Oh! Another big guy. A very scary big guy. Whenever, uh, as Vigilance, whenever mm -hmm. it becomes the target of a spell or ability in opponent's control, I may draw two cards. Uh, it looks like yep. our, um, our, uh, where, where, where did you put it? Right here. Oh, okay. All right. I thought you put it on the other end of the sky scanner. I'm trying to find it. <laughs> okay. All right. There we go. I thought our, our camera uh, froze. Uh -huh. 
I do want to give out a, a, a shout out to Spell Table. Uh, Card Reader is uh, working quite well on these. It is. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um. Uh, thank you, and and Neil, uh, TW for the As follow. Neil, TW, think, yeah. Thanks for the follow. Yeah. Yeah. And combat. Uh, that has something sickness. No, that does not have a feast. I'm gonna swing one in the air. And then just one All in right, the air. I'm gonna take one. Put her on a 12 turn clock. <laughs> <laughs> and go ahead. Well, actually, Chandra can really help with that. Yeah. I'm going to play a land for turn. Okay. And then I'm going to... Hmm. Then I'm going to tap three mana. Play a Truffles. Giving it a counter. And then I'm gonna tap four mana to play an ornery Dilophosaur. Um, and then I'm gonna pass the turn. Okay. That one there. Tap. And draw. Um. I'm going to. It's a lot of stuff yeah. yeah, he also has a lot of stuff. He does have a lot, yeah. This is Gruel building up their boards. Yeah. Doing stuff. My hair is red. So technically, I, I'm Gruel. I have... That's true. Hair. You like green and you're red hair. Oh, that's pretty mm -hmm. fair. I'm gonna... Okay. Technically, I'm touching red and green. Yeah, that's true. Moment. My chair is green in my hair. This is true. I'm going to do four and play Hunter's Edge. Put a woman counter on uh, one of the woods. Uh, yep. I do not draw two cards. No, because uh, no, it's opponent controls. Yeah, it says opponent. Okay. Bummer. And then it fights. Uh, it deals damage. Or fights. It or does it fight or damage? It's a bite. It takes a chomp. Then it it's deals damage equal to. It's power. Which is six. Uh, I'm going to do it to the Colossal Dreadma. Yeah, he did. <laughs> and, um... <laughs> these are two twos. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna swing my sky scanner and and that's it. All right, I'm going to take one, and my dad has already done that. Yep. And I will plus this up to damage you, Dana. All right, take him too. <laughs> <laughs> Andrea says dinner time for me. Have fun, Dana, Rhino, and Adam. Thank you. Thanks, Andrea. Thank you for the raid too. Always good to see you. Yeah. Hope you had fun. I'm having fun. Go ahead. All right. Draw a card. I'm gonna play a land. 
I'm gonna move to combat. I'll trigger my ornery the officer. Uh, my ornery the officer will attack uh, Chandra for four. I'll block with the silence and whack him. Um, before damage. Um. I'm gonna spend three mana. Brash Taunter will fight your Solemn Simulacrum. You'll take two. Can I fight it again? Oh. Taps it? Oh. <laughs> then never mind. Huh? I thought I could do it once. Okay, so I still. Uh, that. Then before damage. Yeah, nothing before damage. Yeah, the tree's fine. Okay. I'm gonna pass. Um, I don't think they trade. Oh yeah, it's plus two, plus two. They don't trade. Sorry, my thing's lives. Yeah. This guy's gonna and this guy's gonna yell. Draw. I'm gonna. Play a Radiant Fountain, gain two life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna deal two damage to you, Dana. I'm going to take two. And... I'm gonna play Furious Rise. Yep. Um. So these will trigger their two twos now. I am going to swing one in the air at you. I'm gonna take one. Go ahead. In step. You exile. All right, on your end step. I'm going to three mana tap. Um, I'm going to have my brash taunter um, fight my Garrix Heartbringer, which is going to deal five damage to you. Five damage to me? All righty. Mm -hmm. right. Then untap. Draw. Pride Malkin, I'm gonna give my ornery Dilophosaur a plus one plus one counter. I'm gonna move to combat. I'm gonna, this will trigger. Um, so I'm going to attack your Chandra for five. Oh, mm, uh, it's a death touch, right? Yep, it's a 5-5 five, five right now, Death Touch. Trample. Uh, yeah, Death Touch and Trample. I'll double block. Alright, John will take three. And your two goblins will die. Alrighty. I'm gonna pass. Alright, and tap. And draw. Uh, you can play that. Gonna play uh, forest. And I'm going to deal two damage to you, Dina. I'm gonna take two. Um. Fungal Rebirth. I'm gonna get back. Does it, does it say a creature or does it? Permanent. Oh, permanent. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Psalm Symbol Arkham. That's some serious value. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Then I'm gonna 
Flay. Psalm similar Akum. Uh, get a lamp. Get a lamp, right? yeah. Very value there. Okay. Get that one. And I'll shuffle this tiny, tiny, <laughs> tiny deck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'll swing for one. Yeah, take it. <laughs> Go ahead. And step three mana brush taunter is going to fight my Garrick's Harbinger oh, gonna boy. deal five damage to you. As and I'm going one. to untap and draw. Okay, you gotta win. Swift combat? What? You gotta win. Uh. <laughs> I'm gonna try. <laughs> okay. See. I'm going to. Hmm. Oops. Maybe on Dana. I am going to tap five mana. Turn to slide your solemn simulacrum. Okay. I'll draw a card. <coughs> yep. <coughs> um. Excuse me. Then I'm going to move to combat. Attack with everything but the brash taunter. At you. At me. Yep. At you. What's the totals of the um, of the creatures? Uh, I have a five five with trample, a three three with trample, a five four with trample, and a two one. Okay. Uh, so, no matter what you block, ten's getting through. So. Day no one. Yeah, unless you've got an instant. Which I don't. Okay. You won, Dana. Well, game three. Yeah. Game three. This was going to be the last turn either way. Wait, wait, wait. One way or the other. Because uh, wow. Rhino, Rhino that had that out. that he could play on the Sky yeah. Scanner. <laughs> Um, even though yeah. um, I could have flash taunted my one of my You actually probably players. still had it, but yes, that's true. Yeah, Brash Taunter really slowed down the game a lot. Yeah, that's true. You had him kind of dead anyway. I kind of did. Yeah. I had him dead a turn earlier than this? Or no? I don't think I did. You know, it was a really interesting question I had whether you were going to try and take out the Sky Scanner with the Taunter or just kind of like deal damage to him. Yeah. Or, I did not think that I could kill that. Oh, they could kill the guys. Oh, okay. That's okay. I thought you did. And you were just like, oh, I'm going to just try and kill him. It, it worked. I should have left uh, the sky scanner. Huh? Mm. Yeah, the breast taunter doesn't kill too much. It does well, not. Well, you didn't know what was coming up. I yeah. Not, then you could oh my god, how good would that be? A little broken? Okay. Wow, what an epic game that was. That was a good one. I hope you don't draw any of your lines this time. I was cheering you on, Dana. <laughs> really, I was. I was like, you know what, though? come on, Dana, you gotta win, <laughs> otherwise you take out these planeswalkers. Good That'd job. That would be funny if he doesn't draw the planeswalkers and then he wins. Because yeah. that means the planeswalkers are bad, right? No. One. No? Planeswalkers are still really good. <laughs> Just because the rash planeswalkers are good. Yeah, rash taunters are very good. There doesn't mean they have to attack them. Yeah. Attacking Blaine's when you saw that right now, you're like, oh, Attacking. we're in for a long one. Yeah, well, here and there, 
Okay. All right. You can choose to go first. You're gonna go first. Or yeah, I'll go first. And I'm mulling. That's a five lander. Yeah. And for those of you uh, just joining, we're heading into our third and final game here, the pre-release deck battle. Although I did win the first okay. game. Yeah, we're still playing, you know, three Definitely games. Definitely not. Oh, man. I had the worst hand. I also, no, I had, a, I, I guarantee you my hand was worse. Did you, did you, uh, are you mulliganing his mom right now? Rhino's hand was pretty bad. Oh, yes. My hand was five land, colossal dreadmoth, scorching dragon fire. Well, I can see worse hands, but that's not good. You could have killed a, something. There you go, bud. Okay. Three, four, All right. So we six, both get better sixes. Seven. All righty. Sure. Ah, okay. I'm going to keep this hand. Oh. Bottom. This. All right. All right. Ready when you are. Okay. In the ship. Mountain. Go ahead. All right. Draw. Mountain. Go ahead. Uh, forest. And go ahead. No early plays from either of you this time. No. Nope. Forest, go ahead. Is that the exact same thing? This is feeling like Commander. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, forest, tap, sky scanner. Yep. Draw a card. Go ahead. Draw. <laughs> Mountain pass. And draw. Oh. Play a forest. And swing for one. I'll take one. Nine turning turns to go. <laughs> Nineteen, yep. Uh, I'm mm -hmm. gonna... I'm gonna play some similar Arkham. Sure. Yeah. And it's your turn. At the end of your turn? Actually, no. No. Alright. You're a little late. Um. I'm gonna play a mountain, tap four mana, play an ornery Dilophosaur. Oh, that thing again. again. Hey, there it goes. Okay. So is it my turn? Yep. Okay. And draw. Okay. Play a forest. And tippy tippy. Tipperoo. I'm going to play a bone pit brute. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to do it on a sky scanner. <laughs> Swing for five in the air. I'm gonna take five. <sighs> Go ahead. I don't have cultivate, but I <laughs> I have a song so like them. <sighs> Ruffles is gonna get counter. 
rumble and rumble. I will pass. Okay. Okay. We'll play a mountain and gonna Pedro Dupont says, Hey Dana, good work with the stream. Hello from Mexico. Oh hi. Hi. My old mother used to live in Mexico. That's true. She taught me Spanish when I was little and I uh, take Spanish classes. Goblin arsonist. Here in San Diego. Yeah. We're glad you could join us. Okay. Oh yeah, we're at uh, thirteen viewers now. Thank you everyone for joining. We're in our third and final game. And one, two, three, four. I'm gonna play Garrick Unleashed. Seriously? <laughs> okay. Yes, okay, seriously. Yeah. Okay, and you can plus them up and put it on the Solemn, the Sky Scanner, or on your Minisky. Ah. Uh... What do you have, Dana? She's got a truffle. A 2-2 two, two death touch and a 3-3. Three, three. I'm going to plus him up and give a bump it brew. Uh, plus 3, plus 3, and plus, plus 3, plus 3, and trample and swing with him. So, Bone oh. Crit Brood is how big? Uh, he is a 7 8 menace. Menace. Trample. Trample. Tiny little guy. Tiny. Not. I'm a little, little guy. I'm double blocking. Double block. Double block. I'll take three. Take three. And your Bone Crit Brood will die. Bone Crit will die. Yep. And you take one from and the I'm Sky Scanner, too? I'm just taking one. So, so three I, total, right? Yeah, three Two total. from the yeah. bone crit. Yeah. And it is your turn. All right. Untap. Draw. One mana. I'm going to shock your Garrick. Shock my Garrick. Okay. It's down to three. Two mana. I'm going to scorch and dragon fire your Garrick. Okay. He's dead. You really have it out for that. Yeah. Garrick. Oh. Oh. He's probably just going to kill oh, me or yeah. something. But that Garrick was your friend. He's not. He's on the other side of the battlefield. Oh, Pedro Dupont says, I'm about to stream too, but I saw you online and wanted to say hi. Hope we can play someday. Okay. Yes, okay. definitely. Yeah, you know, we, we okay. talked about yeah. doing some All right. you know, viewer battles, right, Dana? Yeah, we might do that. So, yeah, keep an eye out on that. We've got to figure some of that stuff out, yeah. but I think that's something that uh, somebody suggested. Can you just suggested. do it in an arena and the chat types their name or something? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. You did that with Rhino a while back, remember? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to swing all out. So that's a 2-2, two, two, a 1-1, one, one, and a 1-1. One, one. Yeah. So 4. I'll be 4. Pedro says, uh, sure, I will keep an eye on it, definitely. Awesome. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. yeah. Anything else? Uh, yes. Okay, Actually, they're both instants. No, go ahead. Uh, my turn. Okay. I will draw. Four mana, saber tooth mauler. Pass turn. Okay. Oh wait. Oh, wait. Uh, at at the end of your turn, I'm gonna. Drop a land on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> that is a power move. 
Yeah. I'm gonna play Goblin Wizardry. Get two Goblin Wizards. And... Untap. Draw. Play a for turn. Yes. I'm going to shock uh, you, Dana, for two. I'm going to take two. <laughs> and uh, prowess triggers. Mm -hmm. Prowess. <laughs> I'm going to swing, swing with everything. So that's blocking two. the solemn simulacra. Okay, so one, I'm blocking the two, now. three, four, five, six, six damage. Four, six. Yeah, I'm dead. Okay. Yeah. Whoa. That one was a little shorter than the, uh... <laughs> yeah, that was a little... Strange. Okay. Well. Good thing we played. But there you go. You each you each got at least one. Yep. Yeah. Good stuff. And the spider just went, just crawled like right across my plane now. You're fine. All right. <laughs> I also have a Nissa in here. No. What? No. <laughs> okay. I'm in the set. <laughs> Exciting you out. All right. All right. All right. Thank you, everybody. Thank you very much, everyone that can uh, could join us. Um, I put some links to the deck build videos for Rhino's deck and Dana's deck in the chat, and um, you know we'll have this video I think up on YouTube as well if you uh, are joining late and uh, missed the first part. So. We'll have that up probably before too long. Uh -huh. And uh, thank you very much. Ryan, do you have any, uh, anything uh, to say to the viewers? Uh, now we're going to have uh, all videos and stuff in the description because uh, <laughs> we're going to be having this video up here uh, as soon as we can. Yeah. Uh, and uh, thank you for the streams. Sir Mopalot says good games. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it was kind of cool. You, like the first game was like smash back and forth. The second one kind of stalled out, and it was like a grinder. And the third one I was like was very fun. aggro. Yeah. I was like, I pound, <laughs> pound, pound, <laughs> die. So, three different types of games. I did get a planeswalker, so you know. Yeah. Yeah. Very true. You did kill one. That's all good. Yeah, planeswalkers uh, are damage magnets. They are. Yes. It's like, like they're good when they can protect themselves, obviously. Yeah. All right. They can't exactly protect themselves from what I did to him. No, you just did direct damage. Well, so at least you got, got Garrick for betraying you, going to the other side. I. Yeah. I'm gonna. All right. Well. Well, thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Bye. 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 I have more videos coming out Bye. soon. Bye. Oh wait. Uh, where can people find you? Well, they they know where they. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. <coughs> oh yeah. Uh, I have more videos coming out soon. So until then, round up.